Hello everyone, we are back and focusing on Mother's Day. You have just over a week to find that perfect gift and one option could be Shutterfly. They have some really nice personalized gifts that really mean a lot and also fast shipping and more. So let's find out all about what you can get your mom from Shutterfly right now. While it's been a year like no other for everyone, moms especially have had their fair share to juggle. With Mother's Day right around the corner, Jen Hilt, president of Shutterfly, joins us today to discuss some great gift ideas for mom and why a personalized gift offers a great way to connect to those we love. Thanks for being here, Jim. Thanks for having me, Christine. Super excited to talk about how Shutterfly can help families celebrate mom this year. Yeah, so what are some of the trends that you're seeing with Mother's Day gifts this year? You know, with mom being the hero of the family, um, the personalized gift is becoming more and more important to let her know how much we care. In fact, 70% of Americans gave a personalized gift this year, um, and we know that that's going to have a big impact on Mother's Day. So there are a couple of, you know, gifts that I think are really exciting trends. The first one um, is, is really leaning into the puzzle. Um, you know, we saw, you know, puzzle sales explode. That was across the industry and certainly for Shutterfly. And um, but we see that continuing to be a really important trend because I think what mom really realized is the puzzle is a great way to bring the family around the table. So throw some great photos um, into a puzzle and make it a really personal and unique gift. I think the other area is how to start and end the day for mom, right? Whether it's the family you know photos on a coffee mug or frankly the family photos on a wine tumbler uh, mom has certainly needed the get up and go energy and the best ways to wind down given the year that we've had um, and then let's also talk about how to be creative right um, and and if you don't necessarily have a photo um, that you really want to use there are some really exciting ways where you can capture pictures of your kids artwork and throw them into a photo book or you know one that i love is the momisms book right this is all of the phrases that she's used this year given we've spent a lot of time together um, and you can throw those into um, a great book that really not only tell her that you thought about her but actually that you were paying attention and if someone wants to start a gift giving tradition this Mother's Day, what would you suggest? I think there are a couple of really great ways to create traditions in family. One, I think, is the update, right? Which is, you know, across America, mom wakes up to a lot of breakfast in bed. But let's put that on a personalized plate that has a really fun message that you put on it or a picture of your artwork from, you know, you know your kids or, you know, a really great family photo. Um, but I think that's a really fun update and also a way to show that you thought about it, um, you know, not last minute. The other tradition that I think is, is a really good one is the update to the family photo wall. Like if you think about pictures of our families that we put up on the wall, um, a lot of times, you know, we keep them up for maybe a little too long. Um, and so we can use Mother's Day and holidays like Mother's Day to send those pictures and update the photos that people put on their walls. And I think that's another really good tradition. And then I think the last one is for people who celebrate Christmas. Let's use this as the opportunity and the time to put photos onto holiday ornaments and make sure um, that we get ahead of uh, the, the end of year holidays that are ahead. And what if you don't have a favorite photo or really any photo that you like? Can you still make a personalized gift? Oh, without a doubt. Um, you know, what I think about are all sorts of phrases that you can put onto things like canvas totes or wall plaques or, you know, home office. You know, mom's been doing a lot of work at home. Um, and so updating kind of all of those accessories that sit on her desk um, with, you know, phrases and monograms and things that tell you, tell her how much you love her. Um, there's all sorts of things that you can do at Shutterfly um, that really do show her how much you care without a picture. And what are some of your favorite ways to celebrate mom or another special person this Mother's Day? You know, it's a really good point, right? It's not just mom of kids. It's moms of pets and plants. And, you know, for me, it's, you know, aunts who are like moms. Um, but the thing that I do think about is a year in review photo book um, is a really good way to celebrate the, the year that we've had. And what I love about it is it used to be that it would take hours of time. And the only people who really love to do it are people who really wanted to put the time in. 
This year, you know, with our instant book, you can do it in literally less than three minutes and mom will have something that will capture um, all of the amazing memories because, you know, it maybe was a tough year for a lot of Americans and certainly for mom, um, but it, we also had the opportunity to create a lot of really important and special memories as a family. These are all such great ideas. Where can we find out more? All you have to do is come to Shutterfly.com or download our app um, onto your mobile phone. And, uh, you know, within a minute, you can have a product. Within um, a day or two, we can get it to your house. So we're going to be there for you to make sure that mom knows that you thought about her and how much you really do care. Well, Jim, thank you so much for joining us today here on Park City Television. I'm excited to start getting ready for Mother's Day and making personal -like gifts for my mom and all the other great people in my life. Thanks for having me. We're really excited to be there for Mother's Day this year.